So if you're listening to these videos in order, the last segment we talked about the Bergeron process and, and the formation of, of snowflakes, uh, uh, ice crystals in, within a cloud. And ultimately, they can fall to the earth, um, leave the cloud. And so when we get that, after they've left the cloud, whether we ultimately receive them, those ice crystals, as snow or melted as rain or what we call sleet or freezing rain depends upon the temperature that those snowflakes see after they leave the cloud. And so actually um, these four major types of precipitation, snow, rain, sleet or freezing rain, actually to me I kind of put a uh, like a big old break between snow and rain and then sleet and freezing rain go together and I'll show you what I mean. So I bet you buy this uh, kind of side by side what you're looking at is um, this is a temperature profile as you go up in the troposphere what is the temperature doing to reach that cloud. So the pink over here means that it's uh, um, warmer than um, uh, temperatures are warmer than the melting point temperature of, of those ice crystals. And then the blue means that it is colder than. So basically what this is saying is, and you can kind of see it um, on the image too, is this will fall as um, ice crystals and then at some point it reaches a temperature warm enough that those ice crystals will melt. And so this is an example where we get the precipitation of rain. Not too complicated, right? So now if we compare that figure with this figure, this simply says that notice that um, even as the ice crystals ultimately reach the ground, it's still cold enough that they don't melt. Okay, so we get this precipitation as snow. That makes sense. Now notice I'm going to go back and forth. I'm going to go back to this one. Okay, this gives us rain. Okay, rain. And this gives us snow. Um, and you notice that actually it's what we talked about in the troposphere, the fact that as you go up in elevation, um, temperatures will get colder. Another way to look at it, as you go down in elevation closer to the Earth's surface, temperatures will get warmer. Well, remember I said that, that sleet and freezing ring kind of go together, and this is why they go together. Notice this temperature profile over here on the um, It has a what it's saying is that actually as you go up in elevation for a little bit temperatures are what getting warmer okay and then as you go up in elevation a little bit more temperatures are getting cooler okay which is this last part here by the way let's see where's my little marker this last part the, after the kink okay this is normal right okay temperatures getting colder as you go up down here, this part down here is what we call a temperature inversion. And it can happen a couple, uh, number of different ways. But basically what they're saying is that there is a pocket of, um, of air near the Earth's surface that is relatively um, cool. So uh, what happens now, obviously, is it starts out as snow, ice crystals, okay? Um, it gets, it's, it has without the temperature version as it falls, it gets warmer and warmer. It eventually goes in the pink area where it melts, it's liquid. And then as it gets closer to the Earth's surface, we hit that temperature inversion and it gets colder and colder and colder. Okay, so then that rain is going to refreeze. Okay, so um, depending upon how deep, how much time it has to refreeze, that is what will give you, this is sleep. Okay. If it has a fair bit of depth to the temperature inversion, then it has enough time to form those little ice pellets that we call sleet. I'm going to show you the last type of precipitation, nasty freezing rain. Okay. Now notice the kink again, but the kink isn't as deep. So basically it doesn't have enough time for that. Um, let's see, let's start at the beginning. It goes, uh, falls as the Bergeron process creates ice crystals. Notice that it's falling in the blue. It still remains ice crystals. Notice that as it gets near the Earth's surface, we hit, you know, it melts. Okay, that's like normal what happens in the um, troposphere. And then it liquefies right there. It hits the temperature inversion. So now as it falls um, closer to the Earth's surface, it gets colder, okay? 
and it gets cold enough near the Earth's surface to go ahead and to refreeze, but not enough time to go ahead and pelletize. Okay, so we have freezing rain. It freezes on contact, okay? So, yeah. Oh, and notice that your author calls freezing rain glaze. It's the same thing.